What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, it's the weekend and uh, got my cool plate out here. Something I've had in my office forever is collecting dust. I think it's something my grandfather got as a gift and gave it to my dad. But anyways, they're both long gone and this thing has just been sitting in my office. It's beautiful and um, definitely going to show some coins and uh, at the end I'll show the plate off too. And, but I do have the plate listed in my eBay store. I mean, if you want to have something cool in your office, it almost looks like something that should be uh, politician-like or presidential or something like that, or someone that's, uh, you know, military. Anyways, I thought it was pretty cool because it reminds me of this eagle. So, anyways, let's take a look at some of the coins that I got in this week. Um, I did promise you all that I would have a lot of different types of silver that came in. So we'll start with uh, some American Silver Eagles. And let's see, you get some peace dollars going here. And actually one peace dollar. Why did I see peace dollars? <laughs> and then we got some Morgan Silver dollars. One of them has some cool toning and then the Kanga. So let's start with the Kangaroo. I uh, picked this one up over the week and uh, prices on silver seem to come down. That's typically what happens. Like I'll go buy a bunch of uh, silver, like silver rounds, because I think the price is looking good and then the price will continue to drop. So I try my best guys to time the, uh, the low points and I've been tracking uh, the seven most popular silver. Um, I didn't do a video Friday because it was like the same price. But um, you're able to actually get 2023, like a Silver Eagle, Britannia, Philharmonic, all different types, even the China Panda. I did all seven, and um, you're, you're able to get them now for around 200 bucks for actual seven different world rounds, which I thought was cool. But anyways, this is a 2022. What I really like about this coin is that it doesn't have milk spots. So those of you who have purchased kangaroos before from Australia... Um, or perch, pick them up in coin shops. It's very common to get some milk spotting, uh, especially in the fields here, as well as on Queen Elizabeth. But anyways, cool coin. I have that listed in my shop. Um, I have not picked up American Silver Eagle um, key dates in quite some time because they got absolutely insane. So I was able to pick up these four, and um, these are really nice examples. Basically, the way I price these out as if they were like a mint state 69 this one's got a little bit of something on there so that's why i think i'm asking like 58 bucks and these other three i think i'm asking 60. these other three are really 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 nice so i've tried before to send in 1986s to get a mint state 70 you know get your eight five six seven hundred dollar coin and no luck I, I only got 69s on all of them so anyways figured these are really, really nice examples. And it's funny too, like you'll see other sellers trying to sell eagles and there's definitely, you know, there's like a mark on the sun or somewhere in the fields and they're trying to ask, you know, Mint State 69 pricing or above 60. So I think for 60 bucks a pop, these are really good. And I've had good success selling these in the past. So again, if anyone needs a nice 1986, uh, these are really good prices and actually a tube of these with the original orange tube if you've seen those on ebay those go still for about 1300 bucks so it's weird that the coins go for around 67 a piece if there's 20 of them and they have that magical orange tube so if you're out in the wild and if you see one of those tubes not this one this is a the the, the normal one but if you see an actual it's like glass and it has like orange on the on the top and bottom like rubber not rubber, but like softer plastic gaskets, and there's a, it, you can fit 20 eagles in there. They did them for 1986 and a few for 1987, and they're hard to find. So those actual tubes themselves are probably worth 100 bucks just because they're so rare, and they get cracked a lot too. So I've sold that in the past. I think it was a year ago. Um, did really well, but I was surprised to see the most recent comp was like over $1,300, again, for a tube of 20 1986 American Silver Eagles. So that was the very first year the Eagle came out, for those of you that are newer. And next is a Peace Dollar. Uh, picked this one up. This one actually came in uh, yesterday. 
And it's just a really nice example. You always want to stare at the, uh, the feathers remaining on the eagle. Check the highest point on the tip of the head. And, and as well as this part up here, the top mark, as well as the fields of the hair. And then obviously look at the cheeks in the field. So this is a really nice example. I forgot what I have this one listed for, but it's definitely very affordable for someone looking for a very nice uh, frosty 1925 piece dollar. Now we're getting into the Morgans. Uh, I'm going to start with this toned one here. I'm actually going to take it out. I'm going to try and get different angles of it. But I really like this Morgan um, because it does have a very frosty eagle. And if you look inside the fields, there's only a little bit of marks here and here. And then there's a little bit of chatter on the cheek, but that could be just from how the planchet was struck. And then let me see if I can get... There you go. Again, it's tough to do. I have super bright white lights in my light booth here. But this is very cool, and I was able to take some pictures. So something like this, if you keep it for a while, um, some people like to put them. I think there's like secret ways you could do it. Like you could put it like with with copper um, scents, or put it in like a, a holder, that, like a blue paper holder, like the older ones. It'll start to tone even more. But this is definitely um, a future rainbow toner. It's just going to take a little bit more years or simplified storage. So anyways, all in all, though, it's a still a very beautiful coin. I forgot what I have this one listed at. I'm pretty sure it's under 100 bucks, but love the... Uh, I had to get some more 1985, so let me show the other three here. Uh, this next one here, another beauty. Uh, not toned, just a really nice bright white. Uh, super bright white, reverse, real nice feathers. All the fields are really clear, so... I think someone would be real happy to pick this up. It's an easy Mint State 63. It'd be awesome if you got a Mint State 64 or 65. Again, I've seen 65s that look just like this. But again, that's all up to the, the person grading it. Uh, this next one here is also very nice. Not as nice of cheeks as this one, although there is a little mark by the lips there. But still, another beautiful coin. Really, really bright white eagle. A couple marks on the chest there. So again, easy mint state 63, especially that frosty type reverse. These are pretty common dates. It's just, it's getting uncommon to find nice, ex nicer examples like this that people aren't, or that already haven't sent them in to get graded or that aren't asking like ridiculous money. And then here's the last one. Again, all of these are really nice. Uh, this one's probably the most worn one. So this would probably be a lower mint state. I'd say on the high side, you get a 63, a 62. And um, I think I'm asking a little bit less for this one. But I uh, I had some 85 O's for forever, and I realized, like, man, I sold all of them. So I was needing to replenish those. And then here's some just common dates. Just, again, nice nicer mint state. Morgan, 1884 here. Really nice reverse. A uh, little bit of chatter above the eye, but nothing nothing funky looking on that one. So that's a nice one. Then we got an 86. Uh, this one I b strongly believe is a top 100 VAM. It's called the VAM 1A1. And I'm going to show you guys what that's all about. So sometimes I'll pick up Morgans and I'll have like a little spike coming out of the neck here. So let me see if I can point at this. I got a Q-tip here. So right here, there's like a spike going on. And then I'll zoom in here so you can see it. And and then obviously there's a line going through the 8, or the 1 and the 8, and continuing on to the stars, a die break, and then there's the strike through. So this is actually pretty hard to find in this type of condition. And you'd have a really, really good successful chance, well, really good chance of getting a VAM 1A designation, which is a top 100 VAM. So if people are into collecting VAMs, it's very important to get a really nice high quality coin so that you can easily recognize the VAM. And this one you obviously can recognize without me zooming in, right? It's I saw it through the naked eye. And then there is also I thought one of the feathers here. Yeah, it's harder to make out, but there's like 
like a die break that goes from the F down through the wing there. So again, some cool to look for when you're out there. And for whatever reason too, like these these types of VAMs, the breast feathers are weak, but you can see it's weak, not from actually where. It's just it wasn't struck very well. So that's what happens when these dies got older. Um, people are looking for it. But I, I just like it because it's got a spike coming out of the neck. And then there's going to be another one too here that has a spike coming out of the neck. Um, so it's going to be the last cone I show. Here's a nice 19, or sorry, 19, 1889. Just a regular nice BU Morgan. Nothing fancy. Nice lower mint state. I got a good price on that in my eBay store. And then lastly is this 1900 beautiful looking coin. Uh, these 1900s are generally not struck very hard or very well. So there's just a little mark here, a little mark here. But other than that, man, it, that is one excellent looking coin. It does have a spike coming out of its neck as well. And the reverse is absolutely beautiful. Very, very little chatter in there. Ooh, I'm going to have to replace that. I don't know, sometimes I get these two and a half by two and a half uh, holders, and sometimes they just start splitting on the ends. But here's uh, the naked coin out of the holder. And then I'll show you that spike neck a little closer here. And it's not a scratch, it's actually a strike through. So I don't know what kind of VAM this is. I know it's on the VAM list, but. The ones, the ones they had examples of, that line on the neck was even longer. Not that one, but the one in the field, like in between her, like right in the corner there. That one that's sticking out in the fields. So anyways, other than that though, I thought it was just a really nice looking coin. So again, I forgot what I have that priced out at, but all these coins will be listed uh, in the description. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um... Have a great 4th of July. I might uh, try my best to get a couple more videos out. I do have some more coins coming in, but it's been nice, man. I, I don't know about you guys, but it's been nice to be able to pick up nice coins that uh, people are willing to get rid of, and I'm more than happy to share with you guys. So hopefully you guys uh, like something in here, you learned something, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.